ready, haven't we? We have 100% got this in the bag. I think I've already made a huge mistake. You're going to add about two hours on your journey. Are you kidding? Why is that allowed on this road? Why is that allowed? Oh dear. Turn around when possible. Shut up. Look at that. It's an MG convertible. Are they closing the road for no reason? Is any work going on? Uh, my Tom Tom's been thrown out the window. I can, oh my gosh, I can see him. I can see him, he's over there. He's charging. My car's beeping. I don't know if that's because the suspension's broken or I'm going too fast. He said, ABC always be charging. Pembrokeshire Shire. Yes, we're in Pembrokeshire Shire. Could be GTWYG, which is get to where you're going. a bit of drama for camera, secretly. I've got to get my coat off first. You're not gonna win, he doesn't stand a chance. He does not stand a chance. Gotta get out before him anyway, look. Here we go. Oh yeah, we've won already, haven't we? We have 100% got this. In the bag, seven and a half hours, uh, 402 miles. I have every confidence in my big BM. I really do. You know it, I know it. All there is left to do is prove it. So, uh, jokes aside, I am gonna have a coffee stop at some point. Um, I've got a few bottles of water with me, San Pellegrino. Yeah, because I'm posh. Um, <laughs> not at all. It was on offer in the co-op yesterday. Uh, and, and it's posh, isn't it? So I'll have that as a little treat for today. So I'm going to stop for one coffee break. But I want to do that ideally in Wales. I'd like to get all the way to Wales before I even think about stopping. That's my plan anyway. It's 8 o'clock now. So we're up against sort of rush hour, businessy work traffic. We just have to see how much ground we can cover this morning. So the big question is, which CD am I gonna start the day with? Now, sadly, due to copyright reasons, I can't share with you the music that I'm listening to in my car. But I can tell you, and we're kicking off with Talk On Corners by The Cause, because that was a great album. Right, let me get a few tracks under my belt and some miles. I'll check back in with you shortly. We are ahead at the moment. 391 miles to go according to the sat nav seven hours 19 minutes of driving should arrive at 3 30 p.m ample time basically let's go ah oh, red light god tell me you've not broken down no but i am i think i've already made a huge mistake you've made a huge mistake well i reckon because i've just checked my my old school tom tom sat nav and I was looking on the, because you shared your location with me, and I was like, why is he going the wrong way? But now I'm thinking it's me that's going the wrong way. Ah, oh, you checked my location. Um, I've just got my way, it's taking me north, I guess, to go west. Yeah, well, mine's gone south to go west, so I'm going to end up on the M25, which I think could be a huge mistake. I did, I have, sec, I've, I've second guessed myself, and my other sat nav is actually saying there's no, there's only about three minutes difference between going above Birmingham and going below it. So, yeah. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with the Tom Tom route because that's what I said I was gonna do. I think you should stick with it. I'm terrified, I hate London. So, 
Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. What's your, what's, what's your time of arrival there? Three twenty-six p.m. What's yours? Three sixteen. All right. So there's only ten minutes in it, um, and you obviously need to have a charge. So I think that mistake might just even the playing field a little bit. apprehensive now actually uh, I was very confident before we jumped in the cars and now I'm thinking ways might well save the day for you yeah. all right well we will, we will see uh, have you got an idea as to where you're going to stop to charge your milk flow won't actually uh, meet again until the M4 just after Bristol I think because you end up going down the M5 don't you I I'm sure we end up we'll end up on the same route just after just after uh, yeah around the M4 M5 junction well I'll be well gone by then I would have thought you enjoy that M25 because it's a wonderful wonderful road in fact do you encounter any congestion charges there uh no, I don't think I do on the M25. Um, but sure, 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 sure about that. I'm semi-confident, but I never go anywhere near London because I hate the place so much that I genuinely never go anywhere near it. Sometimes when I have to go collect cars from Reading and Guildford, I hate it. Why have I done this to myself? And now, you're, now you're going on London's road to hell. Do you know, I think that's what Chris Rea wrote about that. This is the road to hell. I've, uh, I've shot myself in the foot. 10 miles in. Well, 21 miles in. I'm standing by a river, but the water doesn't flow. Exactly. <laughs> right, I'll catch up with you in a little bit then, and we'll see how badly I get screwed over in and around London. You enjoy it. Say hi to the capital for me. Bye. Okay, let's reframe this situation. Lee has gone the easy route in an electric car. I'm going the hard route the route that is most statistically likely to cause me problems in a diesel car and I'm still going to win. I'm not a very good loser. I really don't want to lose. Hello? I just had a good omen. Go on. An electrical MG abandoned at the side of the road that had clearly run out of charge. It was half on and half off the kerb, abandoned in a way that you'd abandon a car if it was running out of power. And it was holding up all the traffic on the other side of the road, and that, for me, was a sign that said, Jeff, keep going, you're on the right route. I've just spoke to my mate, who is a lorry driver, Yeah. and he said, you're gonna add about two hours on your journey. Are you kidding? No, he's a, he's a, he's a, better, a very good lorry driver, drives a lot of miles uh, and it's going to add about two hours on your journey. Ah. See, I don't know what to do with that advice now. Pee on your strawberries, as my dad used to say. The, the stubborn person in me and the optimist thinks it'll be all right, but I don't like that advice and I'm going slowly at the minute. He's took you the wrong way, basically. M25 on the Right, tell you what, forget it. You win on navigation. The modern way of doing it is better. You get 25 points and I lose 25 points. Bye. Forget that, honestly. If a lorry driver is saying that my route is gonna add two hours on my journey today, I'm not doing that, my life is not worth it. Yes, it's good for YouTube content to go and do the M25, but there's more to life than YouTube content. I am gonna change my route. Right, now we're gonna make a bit of time. Tom Tom, I'm really disappointed. 
wanted it to work. And what kind of road is this? I'm meant to be on big, fast roads and I'm on a country lane. Uh, come on, BMW, you can do me proud here because you're basically an Audi TT, aren't you? Exactly the same thing, except slightly heavier. <laughs> So we're kind of forming a V towards Newmarket, where I will then pick up the road that Lee is on after making my stupid detour. Um, I'm getting stuck behind cars on this road. However, this is a great car for today. I know there's not much light because it's gray all the time, but I'm loving the panoramic roof because it makes a dark interior very light and airy. And I like that a lot. Um, it's got plenty of power for getting past people but it's solid and stable and big and chunky and everything you want in a winter road trip car. I'd like some better tires on the front, I think. Um, but other than that, I've got no complaints about my X5. Oh yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, I, 
Yeah, for some reason it wasn't set up, and then I kept getting text messages saying we're going to cut your account off, and I thought the last thing I need in the middle of a YouTube challenge is for my phone to be cut off. value of your car is it if you wee yourself in the driver's seat? Not really, especially it might not do anything to the electrocated heated seats as well. That's a very so good they point. May, they may short out, only 309 miles to go though. Yeah we are covering, I tell you what, it's, it's all alright so far, it's all alright. It's all alright, let's keep it like that. You I went down some right small lanes and small villages and all sorts because basically I was on the way to London wasn't I? And then yeah. We had that conversation about your lorry driver friend, and I thought logically, and I just thought, this isn't happening. So, the sat nav went out the window. I fired Tom, Tom got fired, and um, we went Apple Maps instead. What I should have said is, oh, my lorry driver friend said the M25 is the best, best route to go. You should have done, but I was, I was already having doubts about heading towards London, and I shouldn't have gone that way from the outset this morning. And I realised within about three miles that I'd made a bad choice. But I think I've made up for that now, because I've gone quite a distance towards London when I decided not to go towards London. So... Are you going to have a coffee? You're going to stop for a coffee? Yeah, def I definitely am. I definitely am, yeah. Right, I'm going to stop for a wee. I don't think I'm going to charge at this point. Uh, What's your, what, how long have you got left? Of, what have we got left to travel? I've switched my TomTom -tom off now, so I can't see it. About 200 miles. I've got, I've got 306 miles to go. And there's Cambridge Services here, which has got my other two. Nah, you, you, you can't be charging there. You've got to get some more miles under your belt. Have your way and get back in your car. I'm my way and get back in my car because, yeah, I need to get it. Otherwise, I'm doing, I need to do it as the evangelist would do it. They ain't going to be happy with you. Come on, think like Morag. What would Morag do? WWMD. What would Morag do? What would Morag do? Come on, onwards. Now the viewers, I was all confident thinking I was ahead of Lee, but if he is just passing Cambridge, I am approaching Cambridge too. So I think he's not far ahead. He must be ahead of me because of my massive cock up with my route. He has to be. Maybe we'll see him somewhere down here. Also, I've mentioned that I am tired today, so it's time to bust out my secret weapon. My driving glasses. This is a different pair to what I used on the Johnny Groves trip. To be honest, they're not as nice. I prefer the ones I had for the Johnny Groves trip, but I can't find them. <laughs> Jeff, you're so disorganised. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, I'm coming off here. I've done 103 miles. Um, Cambridge services. I'm only really... I, I do want a coffee, but I am mostly coming off here just to see if Lee's there. I wonder if he's pulled a sneaky one on me actually decided that he is going to charge at Cambridge. <laughs> it would be funny now. It would be funny now if I ran into him. But also kind of embarrassing because we left at the same time and I should be miles ahead of him and I'm not. KFC Costa MS McDonald's WH Smith. Cars Caravans Food Court. There's a WH Smith, I might be able to buy a flat cap. And that might sound ridiculous, but people say to me, Jeff, where did you get your flat caps from? I buy them from WH Smith at motorway service stations. There's a flat cap brand called Heritage, and I quite like them. <laughs> so, you know, they're not like special or anything. Just pick them up at service stations, which is handy because I lose them all the time. I can't tell you how, oh, there's the electric car charging points, look. Is he here? I can't see him anywhere. I think he's ahead of me. He must be ahead of me. What I could do, be really funny, is block one of the car charging points. 
I'm not going to do that. He's not here. I can't see him. See, what I like about this X5, right, is although it's big, it's not that big. So you can park it really easily. Right, self-level suspension, inactive. I know my self-level in suspension is inactive. I don't mind. Get my shoes on. Let's go for a little break. I've done enough of these challenges with Lee now. I can, oh my gosh, I can see him. I can see him, he's over there. He's charging. He bloody is as well. He's actually charging, look. He hasn't seen me. Has he seen me? No, I think he has. This is hilarious. Look, there I am filming myself. Over there, it's Lee, look. I think he's seen me and I think he's leaving. What's he doing? Terrible filming there. He's off. Is he going? He is going, isn't he? Or is he moving? If he's going, then I'm going. No, let's prove a point. I'm gonna go buy what I need to buy, and then I'm gonna catch him, because it's more fun. I'm okay. No, he was moving. He wasn't leaving, I don't think. I don't think he's. No, he's moving. He's moving. He's plugging in. He's plugging in. That's what he's doing. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this without him seeing me. I am. I'm gonna go buy a new hat, and then he won't recognise me. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. So he was plugging in his car, so he had to move from one charging space to another. I'm gonna grab a coffee and I'm gonna hit the road before he's even finished setting up his app. That's my plan. Right, coffee. Who's got the best coffee here? None of them, they're all rubbish. Right, it wasn't the right WH Smiths because they don't sell flat caps. I can see Lee up there having a conversation with another evangelist. I'm waiting for my coffee. My BMW is there and he's charging up there in the corner and I don't think he's seen me. So, if he's, he's having a chat, look, I can see him, he's filming. He's chatting to that guy in the white. Can you see him just there? Excellent pointing there, Jeff. Ice latte with an extra shot. Ice latte with an extra shot, thank you very much. Ice latte with an extra shot in December, that's what I'm having. Right. It's gonna be hours. I'm out of here, I'm done. Just felt like it was an ice latte sort of day. Right, I've just said to the chap at Costa, another man's gonna come in with his camera and his microphone and he's, and he's gonna order a coffee. And I said to him, you have to say, oh, oh shit, he's coming. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide here. He's filming, he's not gonna see me. I'm genuinely, I'm hiding by this wall. Right, terrible filming, because I, I do not want him to see me. He's not seen me. He's coming. He might have seen me, in which case this is ridiculous. I think he's seen me. Always be charging, A, B, C. Hide back here, look. And it's high honesty, and it's cheap, which is what we want. I can confirm that he did not see me. Excellent, you're off. <laughs> We're out of here, I just heard from him. We're in the same service station. I don't think he saw me, because he's gonna be going to the toilet, and then he's going to Costa, and I'm out of here. My ass about to fall off. Right, this is now really funny, because I've got a special something that I'm gonna go stick on the back of his car, and hopefully he's not gonna notice. I bought this earlier on for just this sort of situation. So I'm gonna go pop it on his car while he's having a wee. And if I know Lee, he won't find this until he's on the motorway looking in his rear view mirror. That's what I reckon. Look at him, all the gays charging their cars. Done. 
what do you reckon viewers <laughs> it's waving in the wind uh, so i've given him a new driver sticker and i'm out of here that is so funny what a turn up for the books 100 miles and it is neck and neck well it's not neck and neck because my gopro died well that's annoying batteries in my GoPro have overheated and have killed the GoPro. Really glad I'm not driving a car that uses, you know, batteries as its main source of power. Right, that's it then. The race is over. He has got to do a big charge as well after this one. So I'd say that's it. You might as well stop watching now. What's happened is exactly what we expected would happen. And Jeff has won once again in the old coal roller. It's so funny the way this has worked out today. <laughs> well, I'm really annoyed that my GoPro's broke. It literally lasted one trip. Never mind! Right, on the road again. in the service station and because he was on his phone he didn't see me so I filmed him walking in the service station I left I put a new driver sticker on the back of his car and now I'm ahead of him and he doesn't know that I was at the same service station as him he hasn't seen me he doesn't know I'm ahead of him and he doesn't know I was at the service station so he's, he's got to do if he's charging there He's got to have at least another charge, which is gonna be at least another 40 minutes. So, if you want, we could meet for a fairly quick lunch somewhere. It won't be for a couple of hours. No, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, well, don't sign everything of you. discipline could be a lot better people pull out where there's absolutely no need to pull out they pull out without checking the mirrors and lorries it's, come on lorry drivers tell me why you do it you're all limited to the same speed it can't make much difference can it someone explain it to me why does a lorry doing 54 pull out and go around a lorry that's doing 53 i do not understand it Now everybody's stuck, somewhere up here, there'll be someone who's going too slow in the right hand lane. driving going on in front. The BMW up there is holding everybody up. There's no excuse for that unless it's a police car. Then you've got a single cab truck thing that's trying to get past that. And then this box van that's trying to get past that and the Audi that wants to get past everybody. I'm just gonna sit at the back and wait for them to all fight it out. And then when they've worked it out between themselves, I'll accelerate. Also got a Land Rover behind me that is desperate to get past me. If people understood how to use lanes, none of this would happen. This single cab, what is going on? It's got to be a police car holding up this traffic. That's got to be what it is. It must be an unmarked car that doesn't want a single cab truck to go past him. Driving like an absolute knobber. It's funny being so high up in the X5 because you can just watch it all happen and let everybody get on with it. But then I've got the power to get involved if I really want to. Nobody's moving over now. It's just ridiculous. But we've got to see how this turns out. Who's going to come out on top? Is it going to be the Audi or the van? The Audi's going for it. Go on, son. I'd have done the same. Get out of the way! <laughs> this 
this road. Why is that allowed? That's dangerous. You're too slow, you're holding everybody up on the busiest day in the world. Forget bus lanes, we should have tractor lanes. The entire nation would get behind that. Instead of like ripping out the roads to install roads for bikes, let's rip out the roads to install a grass lane for tractors. And then everybody else can get on with their lives. Come on, I'm doing a YouTube challenge. I've got to get to Pembrokeshire before an electric Porsche. <laughs> So I watched someone generously flash a lorry to let him out and then the lorry slowed down to the exact same speed as the lorry it was next to for the uphill and we're all stuck behind them both. It's infuriating. Some distance, 
but I was held up a lot on the A14, but I know for a fact there was a moment when we were almost touching. Well, I'm going up to the M6 shortly. Are you? Oh. Yes. Right then. In that case, there might not be as big a gap as I think there is. It, it is. It is more exciting not knowing. Um, because if I know where you are, then I'd be tempted to like, oh, I'll have a little long break, I'll do some shopping. But I quite like the idea that I'm getting there in a, a very good time. And the petrol heads on my channel would rather that I do that. So it works better that way. Yeah. Oh, another lorry. Just side by side with another lorry. And again, uh, he's miles behind me. He's only just joined the M6, and I've just joined the M42. Even though I took a massive detour at the start and then changed my mind. Oh, nice jumper. Love it with this X5. It's so high up. You can see into everyone's cars. You can see everything that's going on. Got a bit of cruise control there. It's just a nice thing to drive. And I'll be honest, it does intimidate people a little bit when you're in the fast lane. I've got my headlights on because it's nice to be able to see. But um, just a great car for covering distance in. It's perhaps a little firm. Suspension's perhaps a little bit firm. But when I was on that rat run across the country, just, yeah, felt like I was in an Audi TT. Absolutely brilliant. And that was the point that I knew Lee was ahead of me. And I had to get the hammer down. So I did, and here we are. We've even got some blue sky up ahead. We're on the M42 now, and after that, we join the M5. And when we're on the M5, practically on the home stretch, we've got 213 miles to go. And as you know, because you've watched my videos before, that's driving to Newquay from Birmingham. Do that, no worries. So we've absolutely not only is this in the bag, but what, what's, for, what's a better analogy than it being in the bag? It's in the bag and I've taken it home. It's already on my shelf. So, that's that. Is it to some degree to do with the driver? I wonder if it's to do with the driver as well. Maybe I've driven a little bit more spiritedly, but then again, Lee said he wasn't messing around either. And there's only so much progress you can make on the A14, as we've discussed. So, some of it is the luck of the draw. But if we can just talk about range for a moment. My car is saying I have 503 miles left in the tank. But I've driven 193. So that means my big 2.5 tonne X5 is going to do 696 miles on this tank of diesel. Notwithstanding the fact that when we started this trip today, it was saying 620 miles in the tank. So whereas Lee has lost range, I have gained almost 100 miles. They're brilliant, these old diesels, aren't they? I don't know why, we should just all drive these, because they just make so much sense. I don't have to waste any of my life talking to other people at service stations. Low battery on my phone, obviously. <laughs> So I've got low battery on my phone, and the batteries in my GoPro have killed my GoPro, but we're going to get there first. Not only are we going to get there first, I think I'm going to be ages before him. So now that I've got to the point where I know that I'm ahead, you know, instead of taking it easy and messing about, let's destroy him, right? We know that we're ahead by a little bit. It's like, like in a football match, you know, you get to 3 0 up, don't stop. Don't be like, oh, let's start defending. No, let's make it 53 nil. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to get down the M42, I'm going to get onto the M5, onto the M50, and it's going to be 53 nil by the end of the day. Come on, let's go. It's not even noisy. It just does it. 36 miles to the gallon is still going to be a better equivalent than what that Taycan is working out at. And if an electric car can't beat a £1,000 four-wheel drive, three-litre diesel automatic that weighs two and a half tonnes, then we've got problems, haven't we? Should have bought a Tesla. He didn't buy a Tesla, he bought a Porsche, because he didn't want a Tesla. And he didn't buy any of the other electric cars, because why would you? They're all made in China. Are they all made in China? Are they all made in China? Correct me in the comments. Right, M42, M5. I'll check in with you again when we're on the M50. How about that? 
that'll be some distance away. Just had an idea. I'm on the M42 and I know full well that one of these service stations here has a WH Smith that does sell the hats that I want. Which one? M42 Waitrose. Is it the one with the Waitrose? It's got a WH Smith. Strong winds, slow down. I think it's this one coming up, you know. Is it Hotwood Park? Yeah, this is Hotwood Park. This is the one where the service station's over there. I've got a lot of good memories with this uh, service station because I broke down here once in a Jaguar. Daimler, it was a Daimler about three years ago. Is this the one that's got a WH Smith? I think it is, I'm pretty sure this is the one. So I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna buy myself a new flat cap. Result, it is this service station where I can buy a flat cap. So, I'm gonna to go to Hopwood Park and go to WH Smiths and buy myself a new flat cap. And if they haven't got them in stock, I'm gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> I don't know where my flat caps have gone. I had two, a few weeks ago I had two flat caps and now I'm down to zero. I thought I'd left them in my 3 Series when that went away to have some work done, but the 3 Series came back and the flat caps didn't. I think someone's stealing my flat caps, I think that's what it must be. It's busy here. Look at that line in the sky. It's busy here, isn't it? Yeah, lots of people travelling now. Lots of people travelling. Charging points down the front here, Lee. Oh, no way! Look at that! It's an MG convertible! Oh, there's another one, look, we found some concept cars. That's amazing. That's the new electrical MG convertible. Let's go and have a look at that. That is exciting, isn't it? Right, look at this, look, look at this. That is an electrical MG convertible. Let's go and have a look. So that is the only MG Cyberster convertible. They're out in China, they're not out in the UK yet, but that's phenomenal. It's electric, it's absolutely, it's actually quite a good looking car, isn't it? And the reason they're over here is because they're having some problems with that one. Look, they're all Chinese. So they're all off back to um, Birmingham, do some development. Wow, what a treat. What an absolute treat. Amazing. This look in the men's room. Charges any electric vehicle, fits any home, and comes in six Scandinavian colors. What's a Scandinavian color? Brilliant. Wow, look at this sunlight, that's crazy. Um, it's exciting to see that MG, isn't it? I do find that quite exciting. Right, um, let's go. Yeah, I can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> the new MG Cyberster. It's got a stupid name. Um, someone should tell them it's got a stupid name. I hope they were able to charge. Didn't have any problems with the charging points. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it, for the Chinese investors to be over here and find out that the infrastructure in the UK is rubbish for the cars that they're building. They ain't building them for this country, are they? If we get that little cyber thing over here, it's just a bonus. Right, on with the journey. Let's get back to the motorway. Sun is out. Driving glasses on. That's it now, I ain't stopping again. No chance, I'm done. We can go all the way. <laughs> we can go all the way on one charge. I've had a wee, I've got a bite to eat. Let's just get there and let's get there a long time before Lee. But I'm so glad I stopped here. What a little bonus that was for the video, to be able to uh, film a car that isn't even out yet. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Putting more charges in here, aren't they? They definitely are. Exit, exit. Can't make that up, can you? That sort of stuff only happens to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Wait until MG realised that they've been on Jeff Boy's car. I don't think they're going to be happy about that. <laughs>
Tunnel. Do you uh, do you hold your breath when you go through a tunnel? You know that that's the rules. If you go under a tunnel, you have to hold your breath, unless it's some of those ones in Paris. <laughs> because that's not a Princess Diana joke. I'm just saying the tunnels are really long, and you'll probably pass out. This is just a nice short one. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm with the kids, I like to slow down. <laughs> as a discipline, it likes to think of itself as scientific, but what I think it's primarily doing, and it is, is trying to control the narrative about the past. plugged in and I'm charging so that means it's taken him more than 12 minutes to get his car sorted and charging and all that time I've been adding to the distance that is already between us tell you what it's incredibly windy it is I'm getting blown all over the place I am in my big BMW I'm absolutely flying all over the road in this wind this storm, I can't even remember what name of the storm is. I thought the storm was going to be in the north, but it's in the middle of it all. My car's beeping. I don't know if that's because the suspension's broken or I'm going too fast. I've got a speed limit to set up, see? So I don't get caught out here in Wales where they don't like speeding. Here we go, look, roadworks. Place your bets now. Are they closing the road for no reason? Is any work going on? What do you reckon? What are they doing? Why are we going down to one lane? There's a lot of nothing up here. A lot of nothing. I can see some flashing lights down there. What we got? What have we got? What have we got? A couple of lorries. We're cutting some trees, are we? Oh, we're doing a bit. We've got a digger. 
we got a digger. They just finished the work, have they? Digger. I mean, I mean, cones of trees up there. Bit of tree cutting down, isn't it? Cutting down a few trees. Yeah, got to get rid of these trees. Too many trees, that's the problem. That is the problem, isn't it, with the modern world? Too many trees. Pembrokeshire Shire! Yes, we're in Pembrokeshire Shire! Just, just went past the sign. Excellent. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Make it in time to fetch the kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Just the motorway. I want it. There's just too much on the motorway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where are you going? Where am I going? Where are you? Are you talking to a lorry? Yeah. <laughs> Get in, mate. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm filming yeah. in a minute. I'm filming in a minute, mate. You might be in the video. No, I'm ready. <laughs> What's going on here now? Okay. Oh, they're just they're, they're just closing all the lanes, aren't they? Closing all the lanes, moving all the cones. They're closing all the close the lanes, move the Christmas is coming. Get the cones out. Get the cones out. Shut the roads. Yeah, everywhere in it. Everywhere. It, it, and it, it does seem like everybody's just gone crazy again this year. Like, I can't believe how busy the retail park is all the time. And you go in supermarkets and they're all absolutely rammed. It's like, what what are you all doing? Why is everybody going so crazy about it? Yeah. You need a piece of meat and a bit of veg. You, like, I don't get it. And the thing is as well, see, at, like, Boxing Day, everyone will be at the shops again. It's like, what, what are you now buying that you didn't buy before Christmas? I think it's right. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying not to go stupid with spending money, but things are expensive. I know they are, yeah. It's and always... it costs money, you know, so at least the fridge is full with my milk. Like, if, if we're spending money anywhere, then I'd like it to be on what's in the fridge. You know the gentleman that I saw earlier on? Yeah. The lovely gentleman, by the way, he's probably watching and he is a little loaded. He was a lovely gentleman, wishing I'd had time to have a coffee with him. He said, ABC always be charging. Yeah. I say, don't get an electric car because it'll always be charging it. I, I agree. I mean, you could say ABC always be charging or let me come up with a new acronym. G T W Y G. You could be G T W Y G, which is get to where you're going. Get to where you're going, exactly. than my 320 diesel for this trip and the CLS so I feel like this was peak Jeff until we get 
get to the actual point. Uh, we do go down here. Ah, oh, there you go. Just saw a signpost for it. RNLI St. David's Lifeboat Station. Can't be permanently closed. Or maybe it's permanently closed to the public, but it's still actually a lifeboat station. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Farmers Arms Pub. That looked like a Swedish flag to me. Six miles to go. There you go, see that white sign there above the Hail Catherine Catherine Street sign. Sign there for the lifeboat station. Gotta go down these. Lives might be in danger. Seconds cost lives. I guess that's a sign for traffic, maybe. Is it about not blocking the roads? Because the lifeboat needs to get out. That would make sense. Lives may be in danger. Seconds cost lives. If you see a car heading towards the lifeboat station with its headlights and using its horn, please pull over to allow, to allow lifeboat crew to pass. If I was a lifeboat fast responder, I think I'd probably want to be in one of these. Four wheel drive, plenty of power, great visibility, nice place to be. If I was drowning in the sea, I'd want to know that the person who was on their way to rescue me was on the way to the boat in an X5. I wouldn't want them to be in a Range Rover because that would probably break on the way. Time is 3.38, let's get him on the phone. Good afternoon. You're going to tell me you're there, aren't you? I am staring at St. David's lifeboat station. You're kidding me. You're actually there. I'm actually you're there. Going to see, you're going to see sunset. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm going to have a little walk down. It's very pretty. And uh, I'm here. I'm done. Uh, where are you? I'm an hour and 44 minutes away from the hotel. I tell you what, I've, do you know what? I'm, I'm so disheartened. I've got the camera on here and I'm trying to put up a front to make it sound really good. But to be honest, I'm. Can I cheer you up? Really? Yeah, cheer me up. Have you looked at the back of your car? Yeah, there was a little thing that stuck on it. I took it off. Was that something to do with it? What was that? You know, when you were at the service station chatting to your MG man. Yeah. I was at the service station. You was at the same service station? I hid from you. You went through the door to the service station, right? And as you went through the entrance, if you'd looked to the right, I was hiding behind the pillar. Really? And I got it all on camera. And I... I did, you put that, did you put that sticker on, that suction thing on my back window then? Oh, was there no sign on it? No, there was no sign. It, was just uh, thing. it had come off then. I put a new, I put a new driver thing on the back of your car. A new driver. 
<laughs> that... I mean, it was just a suction. I'm thinking, what is that? Is it blown on in the wind or something? It was so but... funny because oh. you'll see it in my video because at that point, I didn't know where you were. I knew we were close, but I didn't know where you were. So I thought, right, I'm going to stop and grab a coffee because I was desperate for a coffee and a wee. And then I was talking about, I wonder where you are. And then you blooming pulled up, didn't you, at the charging points? But then when you moved, because you moved charging points, didn't you? And I was watching all of this and I thought, he's yeah. sick. I thought, he's seen me. He's twigged that I'm here and he's, and he's off. He's seen that I've stopped for a coffee. He's, he's, he's sort of logged me and now he's going to leave. And then you moved to the next charger. And I thought, no. He hasn't seen me. I'm okay here. So then I thought, I'm going to run inside. I'm going to get a coffee and I'm going to get out of here quick. And you put a new driver sticker on my Yeah. Car. And I got... I it's all, what that was. You'll see it all on my video. It was so funny. Um, I was so shocked oh. to see you there. But I don't know how I caught you up because I obviously went halfway to London and then met you there. So, yeah. Interesting. That cheered me up a little bit. Yeah. Although, I have to say, I just... I mean, I don't know it just, I can't get my head around the fact now, and I know, even though an evangelist has helped me out, right? Yeah. But I can't get my head around the fact that people still think that electric cars are the future. And it doesn't make any sense because they clearly are not. The thing is... Um... I was expecting this journey to be more difficult than it was. I've got to be honest, this is the easiest one we've done for me. And I think it's partly down to my car. Um, it's big and powerful and it's quite imposing on the road. And if it wasn't for lorries and bad lane discipline on the A14, it would have been a complete walk. I mean, it's been a walk in the park anyway. I mean, I'm two hours ahead of you. Um, but you'll, you'll have to send me a photo, send me a photograph of you and the sunset, and I'll put it on my video because yeah. I'm not going to see it. It's, it's, uh, are you, and is the, are, the, are the skies clear? No, it's extremely cloudy. There's a few clear bits. Um, but it's, it's not blue, but I think, I think we will get a sunset. So I just pulled up my, my notes now Four eleven PM is sunset. So I've arrived with what? 50. I've, I've arrived with about 23 minutes to spare. Um, give or take a little bit more than that. So it would have been very, very difficult for you to get here for the sunset. If even I've only managed to do it with 20 minutes left. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not possible at all. It goes to show yet again, and I actually was really, really hopeful and quite positive about it when I set off. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Um, all right. Well, not to be. I'm going to have a little walk around and send you some photos. I'll... Uh... I'll speak to you. Well, I'll see you at the hotel when you get there. Text me the details for the hotel and I'll, I'll go and get the first two beers in and probably drink those and then I'll get some more when you get there. I actually thought I was going to get to the blooming hotel before you. I thought, oh, I'll just go straight to the hotel, but it looks like not. So, crazy. Ag again, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's four nil. But next year, I feel like the 2024 season of YouTube car challenges, that might be your year. 2024 could be the year of the EV. I'm going to get a long-range Tesla and prove you wrong. All right, I'm up for that. Your long-range tes Tesla against my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got to go. I need a wee. I'll speak to you in a bit. Onwards. See you later. Bye. Bye. Go for a little victory walk then, shall we? Let's go. Why is that still up? Really? Jack Sparrow now can we're commandeer a boat. Commandeer is a great word, isn't it? Because it basically means steal. But if you commandeer something, then that's all right. If stealing something isn't all right. You got the self-service. Excuse me, sir, did you steal that? No, I commandeered it.
head on back up, find a nice spot, try and catch the sunset from. Lee misses out on all of this stuff just because he brings the wrong car to these challenges. these now haven't we four of them every single one has been in a high mileage cheap car bought in a hurry and he's yet to win and in order for him to win he needs to create a race with very specific parameters like low emission zones that are made up bollocks anyway so in a made-up world of make-believe where you create the rules based on things that you just dream up, the electric car can win. But in every other scenario, if you actually want to go somewhere, what you need is an old fashioned internal combustion vehicle. Ideally, a 2005 BMW X5. Right, I'm going to the hotel. I just love this car. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Still got 200 miles left in the tank. I could drive home now. Oh, it's just comfy. It's just powerful. And just it just feels capable. And then when you want to plant your foot, it just flies. And if you want to drive sensibly, and this is odd because I hate SUVs. I'm not an SUV person. I never bonded with that Range Rover. I never, I, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought twice about getting a Range Rover for this trip. But the X5, as soon as it occurred to me that the X5 was available, I was like, yes, that's going to be the one. That's my car for the trip. The Range Rover is essentially the same thing. It's the same engine. I think it's the same gearbox. But just not as good. Not as good. Because the BMW X5 is more car derived than the Range Rover. So instead of being an off-road vehicle that has been adapted for the road, this is more closely related to a 5 Series. And a 5 Series, can you go wrong with a 5 Series? I don't think you can really. There's not too much technology on it. There's no touch screen. The computer is easy to use. I've got 35 miles to the gallon. You can get 40 out of these, but as I say, every challenge that I do. I could have driven a little bit slower, but what would be the point in that? St. David's Cross, Family Butchers. Oh, I've even got here in time to go to the shops. Crew clothing. Should we go pick Mrs. Jeff up something? What's the time? It's only 20 past four. I'm in time. I've got here in enough time to see the sunset and go and do my Christmas shopping. I'm going to be able to get a nice present for my wife for Christmas. And that, there is real value in that. The hotel's just up here so I can walk into town. Love it. Here it is, the Grove Hotel. Excuse me, we've got an electric car charging point. No, no, we don't, we don't here. I, I, don't know, I don't know where you charge an electric car down here. I, I haven't seen one for miles, I haven't. Maybe in Cardiff. Here we go, the Grove Hotel. Time stamp it, 24 minutes past four. Done the sunset, done the journey. My compatriot, nowhere to be seen. Well done, car. Well done. You did good. You did very good. Finish the day with a pint of Bayside Welsh Lager. Beautiful. Right, this is my second. You should be here any minute now. If I go outside, should we go outside and find him? He said he's coming in at 38 minutes past five. Or one and a half pints after me. Not bad, because Cornwall it was like five. I was hammered by the time he got here when we, when we did Cornwall. So, any minute now, he should be coming down this road. 
That is the lights of Porsche Taycan. There he is. I can see him. Look, he's here. There he is. Way. He's arrived. Good afternoon. Better late than never. I'm only one and a half in. It's better than Cornwall. Should have got uh, a Tesla. Better late than never. Yeah. Should have planned your journey. Yeah. Should have only charged. To Should have only charged to eighty percent. Yeah. Um, what else? Got, um, oh should have got a better. Should have got a better car that's not a performance EV. Should have, should have not got a performance EV. Yeah. Um, Shouldn't have spent ages chatting to the guy with the MG. Yeah, should have done it on a different day. Should have done a different. Should have done a different trip. Should have different. Should have stayed at home. Should have stayed at home. Saved lives. Uh, pe most people wouldn't do that trip. No, they wouldn't. Um, any others? I think we covered them all. Oh, we covered them yeah. all. <laughs> you get parked. I'll go order you a beer. Where have you parked? Oh, that, is that that big thing there? It's that huge thing there. It's two and a half tons, but it's still got here two and a half hours before you. Yeah? <laughs> I'm on, on that one, <laughs> I'd love it then if it just crunched going up that tiny ramp. Right, that is it. Thank you very much. Thirty liters should be good. Fifty quid though. Mm, he might beat me on that. I can, oh my gosh, I can see him. I can see him, he's over there. He's charging. My car's beeping. I don't know if that's because the suspension's broken or I'm going too fast. He said, ABC always be charging. Pembrokeshire Shire. Yes, we're in Pembrokeshire Shire. Could be GTWYG, which is get to where you're going. 